Greetings, Internet. I am Ken from the Computer Clan here today to show you my setup that I use mostly on a day to day basis to get my work done. And if you have any questions or suggestions on any parts of the setup, please let me know in the comments below. And if you want to get any of this gear for yourself, I can help you out with that. There's a link in the description, hint, hint. All right, let's get started. So the first thing you'll see is this ginormous ultra wide 34 inch LG display. The resolution is 3440 by 1440. I used to have a 27 inch Apple LED cinema display, but after many years, the gloss just got too annoying. So that's the main thing I like about this new display is that it's a matte finish. So <laughs> I just have a giant 27 inch display sitting around doing nothing. So if anyone wants that, <laughs> Let me know, maybe we can work out a deal. I'm serious. The next thing is the MacBook Pro. This is kind of the coup de gras that powers everything. It is a late 2013 15 inch MacBook Pro with Retina display. Despite it being more than three years old at this time, it's still an incredibly fast computer. I've had no issues with the hardware and I just use it every day for my work and I love it. Not to mention that it has all the ports for the things I use. I am not ready to go to USB-C or Thunderbolt 3 yet. And as you may notice, the MacBook Pro is sitting on top of a 12 South Go stand. This is just to elevate it so the display is easier to see. And it also keeps it a bit cooler, I would imagine, because there's more airflow underneath. Plus, it just looks awesome. It's like it's floating. So that's a cool little accessory. The Rode NT USB microphone. If you have watched other videos from the Computer Clan, you have probably heard my voice over that microphone before. In fact, I've done probably well over 100 videos using that mic. I am starting to transition to use a different microphone for a lot of things. Actually, it's the one I'm using right now that's above my head. But at my desktop, that's the microphone that I know and love. Up next is the Cintiq 13. HD. This is a 1080p pen input drawing tablet by Wacom and it's amazing. Oh my gosh, drawing on it feels great, but honestly, I'm starting to really not like it as much as I thought just because I am more used to traditional mediums and mouse and keyboard for doing digital illustrations and stuff like that. So I've worked with it. I've done some decent stuff with it, but I just don't use it as much as I thought I would. So, hey, it's just kind of sitting there. If anyone wants to take that off my hands, let me know. I'm serious. It could be yours. All right, the Magic Keyboard and the Magic Mouse too. I like using these. In fact, the first time I used the Magic Keyboard, I got 106 words per minute in a typing test, so I knew it was gonna be comfortable enough to use from day one. And the Magic Mouse 2 is great as well. I like the fact that I don't have to keep swapping batteries anymore. Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous that you have to charge it like a turtle in the sun, but I rarely have to do that. Honestly, the battery lasts for quite a long time. I almost forget sometimes that I have to plug it in. And now this beast, yes, the Lassie Rugged. This is a portable, rubber-coated, solid-state drive that runs with Thunderbolt. I get about 380 megabytes per second of read speed with this thing. In fact, I recently updated it from a 256 gig to a 512 gig SSD in this Crazy Ken episode where I collaborated with the SSD King, Drago One. So check that out if you haven't before. It's really funny. And to top off the storage space, I do have three different hard disk drives. These are mechanical and they total up to 14 terabytes of storage. Eight of those terabytes is just for time machine backups because I work with Final Cut Pro almost every day and that's a lot of video footage. It's a lot of storage space that I need. So let's say I have four terabytes of storage space for my video. I need at least four terabytes to back that up. So that's why I have 14 terabytes of disks right there. All right, guys, so that's a quick look at my setup. Let me know if you have any questions about it or if you want to get any of this gear for yourself. And you know what? I'm curious. Send me some pictures in the comments below of your own setups. I like taking a look at people that do artsy setups or minimalistic setups or just a plain old setup, whatever you want to do. Whatever's cool to you, I'm sure I'll like to look at it. Heck, my setup is, it's not that fancy. That table is like a, a $50 fold-out table you'd see at like a barbecue or a picnic. It's... <laughs> really not that fancy, but guess what? It's cheap and it gets the job done, so I'm cool with that. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the not-too-distant future.